Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I'm guest designing with Honeybee Stamps and I'm going to be creating a mermaid card and using alcohol inks for the background. So I'm starting off with a piece of Yupo paper and this is a synthetic paper made from polypropylene and it works really well with alcohol inks. So I just have a white piece here and I'm just adding on some blending solution onto that and then I'm using Tim Holtz alcohol inks and I've got three shades of turquoise here. I'm using mermaid, pool and aqua and as you can see I'm not being too precise about where I place them because they are all going to sort of meld together but I just want three different shades onto there. So my purpose of this background really is to create some movement with the alcohol inks because I want it to look a bit like a C. But I'm not too concerned about the different shades of the colour. I not necessarily want them really defined. I just want a little bit more movement in the piece than I would do maybe using some different mediums. So I've got those three colours on there now which is melded quite get quite well together but I'm just adding a little bit more of the darkest shade and the lightest shade and I'm just moving that around a little bit more. As you can see they move quite well but I have got that blending solution on there and it tends to keep them wetter for longer so you can move them around a little bit more than you would do usually. And here I've got a Tim Holtz spritzing tool and this basically is just spritzing air onto the piece. Um, you can use it with distress markers but it works really well for moving alcohol ink as well. So again I'm just adding a little bit more of the alcohol ink onto there. This is the darkest shade and I'm just moving that around a little bit more with that spritzing tool. And then once I'm happy with that, I can just set that aside to dry. And I did use gloves for that just because I have found that they can get a little bit messy. So here I've got the stamp set that I'm using. This is the Swimming By stamp set from Honey Bee Stamps. And I've got it in my mini Misty here just because, because the image is quite large. So I've got the turtle and the mermaid here. Just ink that up with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and then I can press that down. And then I'm going to colour the image with Copic markers. So I'm sure you've seen me, if you've watched any of my videos um, before, you've seen me colour with Copic markers quite a bit. I tend to go from my darkest shade to my lightest shade. So I am going to speed this portion up quite a bit just because I, again, I do have quite a lot of videos that I've used with Copic markers before, but I am going to sort of talk through my colouring. So I'm not paying too much attention to where my shadows are or my light source. Um, I just want to colour basically, but I'm making it sort of like the light source is coming from in front of her so that the outsides of her would be a little bit more on the darker shade than the inside pieces. So just going again from my darkest shade to my lightest shade and then I'm going to use some purple shades for her hair and this is a little bit of exception to the rule where I usually go from darkest to lightest. I went in with my mid-tone first and then I'm going in with my darkest which is V09 and because it's really quite a dark colour I just wanted that to blend a little bit um, easier and I tend to find that with that marker um, if I go in with my mid-tone first and then add that on top it blends a little bit better. And so I'm just using some aqua and uh, turquoise tones for her tail. Again, going from darkest to lightest. And I went in with a really pale shade of blue at the end just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting with the different sort of blues and turquoises there. And I did her top in the same colours. And then just colouring in the turtle here. Again, going from darkest to lightest, just using some green tones for the turtle. And then once they were coloured in, I cut them out with the coordinating dies. Here I've got that piece of Yupo paper that is now all covered in alcohol ink and I've just cut that down to the size I want it to be. And I just wanted to add on some little bubbles for my turtle here. So I'm just going to heat emboss those. So I stamped that down with some Versamark ink and then I'm just going to apply some white embossing powder to that. Just using a coffee filter to grab the excess embossing powder and I can just funnel that back in. And then I'm just making sure that my heat tool is really, really hot here and just using the minimal amount of heat that is possible onto the Yupo paper. It did warp slightly, but because I knew that I was going to stick this flat down onto my um, card, I wasn't too concerned. But maybe in the future I might use a verse, um, you know, like a, um, a stays on ink, sorry, um, for that, like a white stays on ink. But I'm just using a lot of adhesive there onto the back, as you can see, making sure that that's going to stick down really well onto my card base. And then I've got two white pieces of cardstock that I've cut down and I've added foam tape onto the back. And onto the top piece here I've just added on that happy birthday sentiment, stamped that with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I've just stuck that down. 
and then I've got my mermaid and my little turtle here so I've added a little bit of foam tape onto the back of the turtle as well I can just remove that foam tape with tweezers and then I can press that down to where I want it to be and then for the mermaid I'm just going to add foam tape into the inside portion and then the bits that overlap I've just added on some tape runner onto the back of that so everything's kind of flush um, as one layer and then because she's a mermaid and I thought she might like some glitter I'm using the Copic speaker pens and I'm just adding in some glitter onto her hair and onto her tail and so I've used purple shades, two purple shades on her hair and then also on her um, towel I'm just using the one turquoise colour and I'm literally just adding tiny little dots onto the portions that are the darkest and then adding a little bit of green onto the turtle as well because I thought he might like a little bit of glitter as well and then to finish off I'm just going to add some jewels um, so I'm using some shimmer pool jewels from Lucy's cards and then also a couple of sequins from the peacock sequins um, shaker selection so I'm just using a pickup tool here um, I tend to find though with um, they work really well for jewels but it doesn't work so well for sequins although there is a thicker end on the end on the other side that I'm not using and um, that might pick them up a little bit better but I tend to just pick those up with tweezers anyway just using a little bit of multimedia mat there to stick those down and that's the card finished for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Links to all of the products that I used will be in the description bar on YouTube and also on my blog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.